So Wondershare Filmora has been one of our favorite editors because of its handiness and easier UI. Wondershare has been improvising the user experience ever since then and today they are out with their new product Wondershare Demo Creator. It's an all-in-one editor, screen recorder, game recorder as well as AI webcam. This application has many points of interest such as multi-purpose screen recorder AI webcam that you might have seen VTubers on Twitch using it. Well, this is sort of the same deal, so I will explain every feature in detail, so keep watching this video till the end. Also, make sure to do leave a like and comment below, it really helps me out with the algorithm thing. So, with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so first thing, go to the link in the description below and download the software from the official website. If you get it from my affiliate link, you will get 7 days of free premium access to the software. Once you have downloaded the software, simply open it up and you will see a user interface similar to this. So once again, Wondershare kept the user interface similar to the ones they have kept in the past. As you guys can see, there are all the available options that you can do from this application. First one is you can start a record project. That means it's simply an editor. It will open up the whole editing panel just like Wondershare Filmora X or Filmora 11. You will also have an option to record your screen, enable virtual human, that is nothing but your virtual camera. Then you have an option to record your game and edit videos. In this video today, we are going to be talking about all of these features over here. So. Let's start off with the first one that is recording your screen and once you tap on it you'll see a little bar over your screen and a purple line all across the edges of your screen with these little bars or dots you will see on the left side. By simply stretching these dots you can change the recording area of your desktop. So. I highly recommend you guys to keep it to the native resolution and then you have the option to record audio output and input with your device and then you have an option to go to editor and minimize and close if you click on start recording this will immediately start recording your screen and you guys can do anything you want ahead of this if we close this and move to the second option that is record game then over here you will see your game recorder all right so as you guys can see down below over here on the bottom right section you will see my webcam over here and that's me simply speaking you can also change the grids of your webcam and you know you can keep it in a circle you can keep it in a square uh, you will also have an option to recognize your face but i'm recording right now on my DSLR and I don't basically need this. This is just a, a automatic green screen effect that you guys can see on your zoom. So it doesn't really matter a lot. I prefer to keep it in a circle because it's it, lo it looks so cool. It looks so great. So I'll just keep it on the top left section of my screen throughout this video. All right, next thing uh, over here in the bars, you guys will see your game mode and then you can select a game. For me, I don't have any game open right now. So you have an option for your system audio. You can enable it or disable it. Then you have your microphone. I have kept it to my microphone, HyperX Quadcast. That is this microphone that I have over here, this one. All right, so once you have set up your microphone, then you have an option to set up your camera. In my case, I have a Canon DSLR that is M50, which is kept right up on the top. So I have my EOS utility webcam software over here. So you can just enable or disable it just with a single tap. You also have an option to preview your camera so that it stays up right on the top left section of your screen that I find is really useful and very handy if you're recording a tutorial just like me. So yep just click on record button and it will start recording your game you also have an advanced setting option over here in this gear so you can auto hide controls while recording enable gpu acceleration for recording and i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on in case you have a gpu installed in your device and then you also have a three second countdown before recording so if you want to record games i highly recommend you guys to disable it because it will just consume three seconds of your clips you also haven't hide the mouse track in the regular recording so i recommend you guys don't turn it off mouse looks good on the screen you also have an option to keep the recorder panel not mixed in the recording but 
just leave both of these options as it is if you go on the recorder section you'll find your frame rate or the game mode that it will record your game in 60 fps or 120 fps now in this case i'm going to be showing you guys a recording of my gameplays in 120 fps in um, the encoder i highly recommend you guys to go for h264 and the quality i'm keeping high but if you have a low-end pc you guys can go with normal or low you also have an option to set your camera settings and for some reason i have 1024x 576 because i have not connected my device to elgato or any video capture device i am taking the video output via micro usb so that's why i am limited to 30 fps you also have shortcuts over here um which you guys can set it according to your comfort you have f9 to start f10 to stop f8 to full screen Control m to add markers um, that is you can you can also have screen drawing over here and spotlight so to save these settings these are the best settings and oh yeah baby all right so once you are done recording your gameplay you will be coming right into the wondershare demo creators editing software now this is where things get interesting so whatever you have recorded divides and separates into different clips you can change the uh, webcam that you have recorded you can change the voice that you have recorded you can also change the clip you have recorded everything is snapped all together into different tracks as you guys can see over here in this application you have all those features of transforming your videos you can change the scale of your video you can change the rotation of your video you can change the blending mode as well so I'm just gonna simply play this clip for you guys and you'll see the FPS that I have recorded over here Oh yeah, baby and that's how it looks like in the editor well, I'm just gonna export this whole thing out and I'm gonna be showing you guys the exact same thing and how it actually worked for me we also have a complete effect section over here where you have all of the advanced pan and zoom cursor effects animated text as well as clip motions over here which i find is pretty handy if you are new to editing we also have transitions over here where you have favorite basic color 3d warp and there are a lot of transitions over here which you guys can just go drop into and start using it we also have annotations and annotations is nothing but the text that comes over the screen so say i want to add the annotation over here and i'm just gonna name it a uh, test clip so I'm just gonna change this text to test clip and I'm just gonna keep it down over here so it just comes for a while and then it goes we also have caption over here and if you guys have a look on the captions they are very familiar with Filmora X or Filmora 9 so you can just drag and drop it so you can drag and drop it use it as however you like we also have options for lower third we have options for subtitles we have options for end credits we have options for openers auto captions i also like this part where you have the auto recognition i'm not gonna do this this time but you guys can get the application and do this with your free seven days trial we have an option for stickers as well so you can just drag and drop stickers on your video we have options for filters where you guys can change the quality or the filter of your video so say i want to just give this thing a rise effect so once i've given it you guys can see it will be applied to my webcam so i find this pretty handy it's amazing i'm just gonna give this one to my webcam and as you guys can see it puts a little grid type thing uh pixels on my webcam but that's how you do it we also have an option for sound and the SFX in app store. So you guys can just go into the store, get your sound effect, get your music that you want to use into the video and just drag and drop it from here as well. There are many things that you can look into this file. And if you go to the file settings over here and then you go to the preferences, here are the best settings that you guys can apply for Wondershare Demo Creator if you are a low-end PC. So once you are in the general section over here, just don't uh, touch anything over here. Simply go to the save section and then for backup my project every, select this to one minute and this will backup your project 
every single minute so even if your program crashes you will be saving your project then go to performance and then make sure to enable both of these options and then simply click on ok if you have a GPU this will allow your uh, demo creator to work much faster and much well so yep that's all with this application so once you are done editing your clip just like me simply click on export now I'm gonna take it down to my desktop over here I just simply click the desktop and my project name is gonna be test clip and I'm just gonna set the resolution to high so that's gonna give me 1920 by 1080 60 FPS complete clip right over here if I go into settings over here and change the bitrate I recommend keeping my bitrate to 15,000 kbps it might be different for you so anyway anything that you want um, once you're done with that simply click on export and let this thing take its time you will see the clip right on your screen over here all right so the next feature we're going to be talking about is visual presenter and this is nothing but the ai webcam so vtubers use this feature to show themselves as an animated character and i'm just going to be showing you guys how to do it simply click on visual presenter and then an overlay will open just like this and over here you guys can see uh, it asks us to stay at least two feet away so all right just like this so now we are in a two feet distance and as you guys can see on the right side there is my um vtuber character that you guys can choose by clicking on this button over here and choose anything that you want all right so even though they offer us a lot of avatars over here i guess it's uh four complete rows of avatars so i firmly believe wondershare should offer us to upload our own avatars so we can work on it but for now they have their preset avatars over here and i'm pretty sure with the latest updates they're gonna add new avatar features as well so for now i'm gonna be showing you guys this thing over over here all right so over here you guys can see uh, my hand movements over here so just see it in a little bit bigger screen you guys can see my hand goes under my body so but there is no issues while copying the motions you guys can see I can do the Gangnam style I can do almost anything I want over here and this will copy it so if you are playing games um, and you're just sitting simply idle you guys can use the normal avatar where your hand movements are gonna be less but if you guys go a little bit far away and try to do the hand movements it's gonna be a little bit uh, clumsy so I believe these bugs will be fixed by Wondershare really soon so we're just hoping for that but there is a feature that you guys can use at least in the experimental beta state alright so that was it for this video guys I hope you might have enjoyed it and if you have learned something new today make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button again we are really close to 50k subscribers and I believe in you guys let's hit that 50k subscriber milestone ASAP and with all this said we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out